Hi, everyone. I wanted to let that song finish. What? Ferret? I, I was just... I was just greeting everyone. Well, thank you for the 53. Thank you very much. 53, that is... That's the full deck. Plus one joker. And I got an emote. So there's a thing. I can't fade the music. This is a band camp. I don't think there's a fader for Chrome. I don't want to go through the, the Windows thing. So we're just going to do a very smooth pause and no one will be the wiser. How are you doing, everybody? Nice to see you all here. Welcome to Sound Dodger Sunday, number 54. Oh my goodness, 54 of these things. Oof. So exciting. I have nothing to show you. And with that, we're ending the show. Thanks, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your week. And uh, let me play the music and we'll... Get you guys out of here. Thanks for coming. Anyway. We're here now. Oh, look at this fancy thing I have. You ready? Here, let's... Bam. Oh, isn't that nice? Sounds pretty nice. I like that. This is my... Uh, I have nothing to show you screen, but I want you to be aware that Sound Dodger 2 is still a thing. I'm still working on it. You know? Nice logo, thank you. I thought it was very clever to put a two on the back of the bullet. And it worked out okay. Sound Dodger too real? It's too real for you. Is really what's going on. Um glad you're excited for Sound Dodger 2. I am as well. I have been Well, I was doing many things this week. This is a busy week for Sound Dodger, despite me having literally nothing to show you. Nothing new to show you. I, I I mean, I've been working. So first off, I wrote down all the stuff that didn't work uh, from last stream. Lots of broken things with legacy levels, because you guys like to break Flash so much that even Unity can't replicate it. And uh, didn't get too far. I fixed, you know... Uh, what did I fix? <laughs> oh, I fixed bullets that, that were sent after... The song ended, those, 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 you don't worry about those anymore. Those are fine. Um, I remember those stream bullets, uh, they just kept going last time we were broadcasting. Uh, I fixed that, apparently. The song just ended during a stream, and it never ended, so that's cool. Uh, okay, glad you're all greeting and farewelling each other. But what I do have... If anybody saw my tweet, I did say I'm debuting something. And guess what? I was very careful with my wording because while I don't have anything to show you, I do have something for you to listen to. So this screen you're going to get very comfortable with over the next, <sighs> let's just say, Let's just say a year. It could be less. It could be more. Let's just say a year. You're going to get used to seeing this. This is what you're going to see when we're going to be playing new music. <laughs> so we've already uh, revealed the first official track of the game. That was a couple weeks ago during the game reveal stream. And that was called 17 and something. And that is the sequel to 16 and Dangerous. This song is also a sequel, which makes your odds, you know, one in, what, four of the songs that I've made for Sound Dodger. So you'll probably, I mean, true fans, you know what I'm talking about? The true fans will know what this is a sequel to. But, uh... I'll just I'll just let it play itself. So everyone that's here, thanks for being here. We're gonna debut the official second confirmed track. Also made by me. 
You don't even know any other musicians. Just me. I'm going to turn up the volume of the song just a little bit. So you can hear a little better. You may not hear me very well, but I don't care. I want you to hear this beauty. And then make sure we're all loaded up here and we're not looping. Oh, let me mute the... Uh, someone always resubs. Right when I'm doing it. All right, we're muted. Muted that. Best part about Streamlabs, or whatever that's called. What is this thing even called? Stream, oh yeah, Streamlabs, of oh, Stream Labels. Best part, you can just mute your things without having to go into the browser. Okay, here we go. Brand new track, and we'll we'll, we'll talk about it after, but I just want you to just hear it without, without me going into it, so here we go.
And there you have it. Debut of our second track. Uh, personally, I love this song. And uh, I don't always love every song I make. But uh, man, I just have parts of this thing stuck in my head all week. Different parts. Glad you guys are enjoying it. Crone, thank you for the sub. Good thing I muted alerts. Uh, I can picture some cool stuff happening to this song in Sound Dodger 2. Uh, so if anyone thinks they know what it is, I saw some guesses and I'm pretty sure every guess was correct. <laughs> Nobody was like, even like, memeing to guess the wrong song. So yes, that is actually a sequel to Senioritis. Um, but I'm not going to tell you the title. Stomach issues. Uh, Karma, you are a true fan. <laughs> you are the true fan. Look at you. Junioritis. Good. Uh, so I'm not going to tell you the title because you're never going to guess it. Oh, actually, you know what? You could. I mean, it's like not impossible. Uh, Chloe, thanks for the gifted sub. And that was given to poo smell underscore. So poo smell, please enjoy that. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll turn alert sounds back on. Uh, time the perfect timing. Minturong. You are Mintu right on time. Um, thanks for the sub. Uh, yeah, so that uh, that's our second song. I think it's great. I'm getting tired of my style of making music, so I hope uh, my future tracks for some horns to get flicked. are not going to be a uh, big, <laughs> big number. Are not going to be the same thing. Who's who's got a big number? Lego Man with the 46. Oh my goodness, flicked. what's going on here? Haunted Fur with the the gift sub. Thank you, and Trianius. 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 Gets the sub. Yo, thanks for the subs, everybody. Hype train's going up. Um, so I, I, I actually meant to show a different screen, but that's okay. Uh, I'm actually inside of, oh, where is it? I'm actually inside of Ableton. So you could have actually watched like the track play. Um, like if I expanded some stuff, you could like, watch the instruments go by. Um, where's the button to follow the, uh, this one right here, right? Do that, it follows it. Wait, was it this? Follow, there it goes. It's this thing. Old ass Ableton. Well, you know, the new Ableton is free. Ableton 10 Lite is free until the end of the year if you get it through, uh, what's that company's name? Slice? Splice? If anybody wants free Ableton 10 Lite, go get it. From wherever that was. Splice, yeah. So, <clears throat> uh, so that's cool. I have Ableton 10. The problem is my plugins over here are all 32-bit and I haven't gotten to, around to using JBridge to convert them, so none of them work in my, uh, none of them work in my, uh, Ableton 10, so. So anyway, like, I have some good ones, like, the Famicom one is great. I love this one. Uh, just because, I mean, it sounds so good, and by the way, let me go up an octave. I'm actually playing with my new toy, which I didn't tell you that I have. But I have a new toy, and that is a, uh, a finally I got a, a keyboard, a mini keyboard. So, much better than using my computer keyboard, because I used to use the computer keyboard and, you know, you get that wonderful sound. And then, so so I have a, com a, key, a true piano, I'll just call it piano, because uh, now I can do like velocity, so I can see how hard I'm pressing the keys. This is a bad example, because this, uh, this plugin does not take that into account. Which one do I have that does that? This I like this one actually. This one, which might be hard to read, but each instrument is named after uh, the game it's ripping off. So this is Blaster Master. Uh, oh, what's this? I don't know what Malth is. Yakio Crash 
Crashing the boys? Rush? What game would this be? That was almost Harry Potter. Da, 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 da. Wily? That's obviously Mega Man. Varia? That's gotta be Metroid. Oh man, how do you play the Metroid thing? Oh, is it up there? That sounds off key. There you go. It's the first three notes of the uh, Metroid theme song on the title screen. Um, Crade? Oh, it's so good. Anyway, uh, I enjoyed making music, you know, for many years, but I just never had a piano. So the fact that I have this thing and it has this um, uh, beat pad that I don't know how to hook up yet. Right now it's just playing the instrument here. Bean do Ridley. Is that a thing? Is there one called Ridley? I think there is one called Ridley. Ooh, Belmont. Oh, what? Wait. Hey, there you go. I just played Castlevania. I just I just guessed what the keys were, and that was pretty accurate. It should be an octave higher. No, it shouldn't. Nice. All right. Uh, so where is Alucard, Curse, Medusa, Clock Tower, Overheat, Idol, Adamant, Corneria? That's not on NES. Airship. Is this Mario 3? Uh. What would this be? I don't even know. Duke, Cassandra, Condor, Dodongo. Is that... I guess this is Zelda 2. How does that intro go on the title screen? Nope. Now it's too hard. Uh, Gleelock, Rupees. I'm pretty sure no one in this chat can name what classic game that is from. Classic meaning old. I mean, if you played it back then, it's classic, but it's kind of obscure. Well-known franchise turned into a video game, but I don't think anybody knows. This is the only song in the game. It's one of those arcade games. Uh, I had it on Atari. I'm pretty sure I played it here, but the arcade definitely plays this one. Bubble bobble, not quite. Let me see if I can get the Google loading it up. Uh, get it to play here. Uh, round one, here we go. Hey, I was pretty close. I was off by an octave. This is the this is the YouTube video playing now from the game. <laughs> I was pretty close. You want to see? It's Popeye. <laughs> it's Popeye. Pretty good game. You have to uh, collect hearts from olive oil before Bluto uh, kills you, <laughs> and you can eat spinach and just punch him into next Tuesday. That was me opening a Snapple, by the way. Today's real fact is number 444. And it says the Statue of Liberty wears a size 879 sandal. So, she doesn't shop at the same gap that I do, is what that thing's trying to tell me. 
Special thanks to Popeye for inventing Mario. That game is actually very much like uh, Donkey Kong. But I'm pretty sure it came after. Maybe it didn't. I don't know. It's all blur. Zebus? Well, there's a Zebus one. Special edition Yeezy. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Yeezy factory. She just puts her foot inside of it. Um... Yeah, what was, what was I gonna do? I had plans to do stuff. Uh, oh, the other stuff I was working on. So we're back to uh, this one. So the other stuff that I've been working on is like for Sound Dodger 2. I told you I did a lot of stuff this week. So I was fixing stuff from the beginning of last stream, like during the beginning of the week. I just wanted to, you know, take care of that quickly. And then I got my piano, and I was working on some new music, and I made that whole song this week, which is pretty fast for me. So this piano does not allow me to make better music. It just makes the process a lot easier and faster, because now I don't have to go through manually and change the, uh, the velocity of inputs and stuff like that. Oh, you know what we can do and should do? Uh, we should listen to... Um, 17 and something correctly because I have the updated version and we'll just watch it in Ableton so so we'll just do it like that so let me zoom in correctly because you don't want to see what's on the right okay cool oh I have to change some instruments because I have a <clears throat> my plugin is glitched out for some reason and it changes instruments so I have to manually change them back each time it's really fun all right, I think we're good there. Okay, cool. So, new song. I mean, you've already heard this if you were here before. I'll turn it up a little bit. We'll mute alerts. And I just want you guys to hear the updated version. Small changes, maybe only I am the only one who would notice them. But we do have uh, some new stuff to listen to. Oh, this is all kind of... Why do I want the percussion so big? Some big percussion. Oh, that one's fun. That's just a side chain. We don't need that. White noise, we don't need. Fammy synth. Yeah, you're important. Okay, cool. Just want you to see all the tracks here. Is there a way to expand this view? Can I hide? There we go. Oh, nice. There's everything. Cool. So here's the original track from uh, the trailer, from the teaser. This is the first confirmed track for Sound Dodger 2, 17 and something. And, uh,. We don't need that. Should be good to go. It something sounds different. Wait. Why does it? Hold on. What's up with my gate? Why is it playing on the wrong note? Oh, because I only had one ear. I only had one ear earphone on. <laughs> I'm trying to... <laughs> if you only have one ear and you can't hear it at all... Okay, it's good. It's not broken.
This one has a long tail on it at the end. Great track. Actually, if I scroll over, by the way, you can't. There's uh, there's more, <laughs> by the way, if you want to hear this little bonus thing. Can anybody guess what this is? Here, I'll just let it play. It's fine. You've already heard it. It's the trailer. <laughs> I made a special version of the trailer. Basically, it's the exact same chorus, but the intro and outro are chopped down and don't include the uh, the other phrases from the original song. So, anyway, that's cool. I also changed a lot of my stream settings because I was so upset over our CPU usage issues last week <laughs> and the week before when we were trying to unveil Sound Dodger 2. So let me know... I know we're gonna hear it a third time. I know you guys hate this song, but uh, let me know if this is choppy. I'm just curious. Let me know if this is choppy. Okay, so it looks good. All right. Um, that's cool. So I think what the issue was, was I switched to um, software encoding back when I was capturing footage for Overpass because it would not capture smoothly unless I let the GPU do all the work. And so I switched it back to GPU encoding. So now my video card gets to encode video. And wouldn't you know it, <laughs> you can just make it work again. Um, Trianius, I'm sorry about your internet issues. I hope you uh, <clears throat> get that sorted out. Not just for this stream, but in general. Uh, so, other stuff I've been... Oh, I keep starting to tell you, then I don't tell you. The other thing I was working on uh, this week is the level select which I very briefly mentioned in the Discord once, a couple days ago. But yeah, the uh, the level select is going to be interesting. <laughs> it's going to be different. Uh, only because I feel like there's a lack of information on the Sound Dodger Plus level select. All you get is title, artist, difficulty, if you collected the heart, and what your score is, and then you get a subtitle if you want to add in a little something else. And that's it. So I feel like that's all useful, yes, but you might want some extra information. Even in Sound Dodger Plus, you might want to know, for example, the length of the song. You might want to know uh, the level creator, the name of the person who made it. Because sometimes I'm like, who made this? And I have to like play the level, see what the credits say, and then back out of it so uh e even in sound Dodger plus that thing could have used a little bit of extra extra tlc there so because sound dodger 2 is going to have so many other things for you to be curious about during level select and that's all i'm going to say about that right now 
Uh, it's going to need a slight overhaul. Uh, so I'm going to have the spirit of the first one, but um, but we're just going to have to have more room for displaying information. And what I was saying in the Discord before is that I can't find a music game that does it well. I was playing... I checked out Audio Surf, which is just a UX nightmare. Spin Rhythm is the closest, but even that has a bunch of issues. Muse Dash is terrible. You can't even see your score unless you select the level instead of just like going through it. Spin Rhythm is the best, but I can show you why Spin Rhythm could be better. And it's always easy to criticize someone else's work. Wow, Bean, have you even played Os? Actually, I haven't. Uh, I played the browser one, I, like, five years ago. I played... I forget what their UI looks like. Is it good, or are you messing with me? Because I don't... I don't remember it being good. Is it on Steam? Uh, so where's... Oh, I looked at Just Shapes and Beats, and then I forgot that Just Shapes and Beats doesn't have a, uh, a level select browser, because there's no editor. Um, Spin Rhythm... Yeah, let's play Spin Rhythm. And we can skip, skip, get out of here. Spin rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. Spin rhythm. Hey, there it is. So I'm just gonna look at it real quick. But uh, so spin rhythm. First off, this title screen. <laughs> Why are they trying to hide? Is there a... Do I have a glitch on my screen, or are they really trying to hide the name of the game? Alright, that's a, that's a nitpick. Alright, let's go to just the main mode, right? Um, so they have... Let me turn my volume down a bit so you can hear me better. So they have the little thumbnails on the side, and that's your like quick way to select stuff, which is fine, right? That is fine. Um, it tells you if it's new. The numbers, I think, let you know where you are in the list, I guess, because they all go up to 38. Um, this order is not random. I sorted by BPM. What's it supposed to be, track number? There you go, track number. Um, but like, let's look at this. You've got, I'm in arcade mode. It's telling me to select the track. This tells me it's sorted by track number. So first off, the sort button should be here. Or I should be able to click track number and this should just become this. Right here, that should just be a drop down. Yes, agree. You can favorite and only show favorites. That should just, I don't know. That's kind of all over the place. Um, there's no cancel button, by the way. You have to, like, just know to click out of it. Uh, alright, let's keep going. Uh, for some reason, it highlights these two columns, but not the third column when your mouse goes over it. Why does it not? Alright, fine. Let's, let's keep going. So, library. New game. Which is confusing, but that's just called the name, the song is called New Game. Buy Nitro Fun, that's fine. BPM, sure. I don't know why this is so tiny over here. There's a lot of empty space. Spotify, I don't know if this is clickable, but yes, I can click it and it brings up Spotify. This browser doesn't support Spotify. Good job. Good job, Steam, using Internet Explorer. Um, so that's a button that I don't know. It's a button. It, look, it should change to something. Like, you don't have to change it to a, a clicky hand, but like this should react to my mouse over. None of these do, actually. Favorite doesn't have a rollover. These have rollovers, so like they know it's important to do rollovers, but they don't roll over here. So sorts down here, sure. Okay, we can favorite it, show only favorites, and I now just hit it. Okay. Um, difficulty. I don't know what H08 is. I know it's hard, but like, I don't know. The way, the way they do that, XD says XD, right? Because it's just called XD. Because of the name of the game? 
and then E H N E, and that's why it does it. But I don't know. The triangle thing. Once you understand what that means, that's cool because it tells you uh, what types of challenges there are in the level. Score. Have I not played this? Why is my score zero? I think I quit out of it, or I got kicked out. Um, and then we have leaderboards. Ferret is on there. Number 670. Good job. Oh, he's tied. Everyone just has the same score. Lovely. Uh, oh, you can't see it, but his, it's behind my head. Uh, and then we have the little spectrum graph at the bottom. They reset scores a lot. Yeah, it's fine. Um, so that's that. It's okay. It's definitely okay. This, you know, is your way to go back, but... It's, it's okay. Now, the, okay, so we can say nice things. Nice things, they're showing you the leaderboards immediately, and then they show you your friends. That's nice. Without you having to click an extra time to do it. And it shows you leaderboards for each one as you mouse over. So, nice touch for that. Um, I think the absolute coolest thing here is the preview on the side. In the thumbnail on the left, it actually shows you not only what the level looks like, but it syncs up to the audio preview you're listening to, which I think is incredible. I've never seen another game do that. And it just loads immediately. Look at that. That is incredible how fast that loads. You can't even scroll down on the leaderboard. That's your biggest gripe. Why? Because you can only see first place and that's it. You can't... Oh, wait. Oh, you can only do like the top, whatever this is, top 25. Oh, it only shows 30? Yeah, okay. Uh, middle. Little middle thoughts there. That's cool. Oop, it refreshed. Uh, so that's cool. Um, this... Yeah, whatever. Uh, so that, I mean, that's... Yeah. That's, I mean, that's legit. I, this is okay. This, this is, I think, the best example of a good level select one. Like, the DDR one is similar to this, or like, pump it up in the groove. They're all very similar to this, but this one has clear, concise stuff. There's just a lot of this whole, like, selecting different difficulties. The layout's just, I don't know. And just at a glance, the whole thing is just filled with stuff. So... Load up Geometry Dash and criticize the menu design. <laughs> you want to go from uh, you want to go from uh, spin rhythm to Geometry Dash. <laughs> oh no, are we gonna do that? I uh, I did play it on stream once. I didn't even load this up when I was doing my research because I know that this is absolute garbage. You know what? It's actually a blessing that you guys can't see it. Achievement unlocked. Wait, how did I get an achievement? I'm glad you guys can't see the screen. Why can't you see it? It was just showing my desktop. Alright, we'll do game capture. Capture any full screen game. Now that I have my GPU encoding turned on. Oh good, it works. And you can see my mouse. Alright, so this is the title screen for Geometry Dash and I'm already vomiting internally. Because it's just... First off, there's not even a custom cursor, it's just the regular OS cursor. And nothing reacts to my mouse. Not a thing. Nothing. Nothing highlights, nothing grows. The cursor doesn't change into a hand. Keep in mind it wasn't made for PC initially. I don't care. If you're putting it on PC, you need to put it on PC. That is bottom line. Bottom line right there. Alright, so let's click this. Oh my goodness. Oh. How do you even play? Oh right, you have to, do you have to click this? Oh my god, no. <laughs> How do you quit?
<laughs> How do you quit? This? Practice mode? This? Oh my god, no. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> what is the eye? This, I assume, goes back to the title screen. Good. This goes left and right between the songs. Are these... Oh, they're not clickable. This is the terrible... All right, so what's normal mode? Nothing. Practice mode. No these, this is the most button-looking thing on the whole screen, and I can't click it. Download the soundtracks. Oh, that was a button? Oh, my God. An I'm glad escape works. What do these buttons do? Nothing. This tells me where I am in the, the list, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that spring dampener. Oh, fancy. But you can't... All right, download the soundtracks. What does view do? Can I click these? I don't know what I... Is this... Oh, I can scroll? Did you know you could... Because it's a mobile game, right? View. Oh, my goodness. Oh, uh, could this X button be any bigger? All right, Stereo Madness. Download... All right, I know this is a button. I know that, that, and that are buttons. Good job. I'm not clicking any of those. Back. I can't believe this is a button. It's just a like a 50% gray rounded edge rectangle. And you call that a button. Wait, can I click right here? Ooh, I can let go. Oh, we can... Oh, and we can scroll while clicking. Wait, so I can click it, drag to the side, and unclick it. Oh, oh. oh this is this is bad. Bean, go to the featured section? How? This one? This is garbage. Are these clickable? What's your name? Tap lock for more info. Do you like how <laughs> it says instructions for how to use the UI? That's a sign of, of bad UX that if you have to tell the person that something can be touched. <laughs> Alright, how do you get to featured ones? Do I have to like go like all the way down? This is the main game. Coming soon? How long has this been here? Years? What does the eye do? It's a secret. The darkness lingers. Be careful. Is it this thing? Uh, Featured. Here we go. <clears throat> so, this is get it. What's wait? What's this way? Oh, feature. Wait, one to ten of eleven thousand. Oh, okay, so this goes ten at a time. Oh, I can only scroll down ten. Yeah, this is a very mobile game. Okay. Um. Better than the Overpass browser. All right, long and good going. Uh, there's there's no need to name call Overpass. <laughs> In my defense, I didn't make the Overpass browser. Unless you're talking about the level select. The, the Steam Workshop thing is, is terrible. I don't even like it. It's in there because it worked. But Bean, you took that straight out of the Uni Plugins thing. I know. I don't like it. You want me to try the editor briefly? Yikes. Create, I assume. Tap new. Oh, it's behind me. New. Level name. Don't want it too hard, boys. Can I play it? Nice. Take that karma. Dude, you have to spend years verifying levels? How do you, uh, back to, all right. I assume it's this one here. All right. Here's the level. There's the music. 
can't click. Oh, click, click and drag. Okay. So we've got blocks. Right. Oh, I have to click down here first. Block. Okay. I'll jump over that. Copy values. Paste state. Paste color. Oh, good lord. Um. I've seen many. Uh, levels made by people, mostly just the ones Karma plays, so they're very lavish and colorful. And oop. Oh, look, we can. You like that? You can just click and drag here, and it, I'm supposed to click and drag here. Um, cool. What's this? Test from here? Oh, we can't test. I got to delete that and that. Can I try to test now? Oop. It's up, right? Is it not the up key? Wait, why is it space now? How come you can't use up? Okay. Gamer. Alright, zoom in. Why? Zoom out, that's what I want. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a lot of utility editor, but the animal stuff that's been piled into it makes it really hard to learn. Yeah, I mean, big fancy buttons. Snap to grid. Rotate, swipe. Free move. Oh, there's more tools here. Scale. Can I scale that? Oh, uh, I can't. Didn't scale that much. That's 2x? Oh, I guess it is. Build. Oops. Edit. Delete. All start pause. None. No none. Info. Delete filters. Only remove certain objects. What are these moons? Why are they moons? All right. Uh, settings. Here we go. This is what I wanted. I have no idea. Oh, speed. Backwards. Regular, slower, double speed, triple speed, hyper. Two player mode. Yes. Two players are controlled separately. Left, right. You can change controls. Does anybody? I've never seen a two player level. Me? G. Oh, I was <laughs> like, just the G. B, G, and G. Normal custom. Select song. Custom? Oh! Newground. <laughs> A third party website. Comma. Newgrounds.com. Uh, cancel. Okay, so you can pick songs from here. Nice. I don't know what Duel is. More? Okay, so we have access to hundreds of colors. This might be me, but they look very similar. Um, what are these? Oh, okay, these are some of the modes, right? Okay, so now I'm a spaceship, right? If I hit this, I can... I can't not crash into that thing. Can we delete... Oop, mouse wheel goes up and down, but not zoom in. That's fine. Can we delete... Oh, look, the keyboard works! I move this. Edit. Free move. Swipe. Free move off. How do you move it when you're not in s snap? Wait, what is. You know what's weird? You can't really see the buttons here. Uh, behind me. Here, let me just do this. Oh no, that thing's in the way too. The, um. This is very hard to tell what is selected and what is not selected because blue and green this weird like sea foam blue and like swamp green uh they don't have a precedent in ux of what is lit what is selected and what's not so i can see over here blue means selected So blue means selected, so free moves on, and I can select it. I can't select it. Oh, I duplicated it. How did I duplicate it? Edit. All right, whatever. So we're gonna we're gonna go through the thing. There, I did it. How come we can't use up? Uh, I I get it. Okay, thank you. Oh, what is this? Preview mode, show ground. No object info, select filter, ignore damage, please. 
tiny. One second. I'm allowed 40,000 objects. Okay. Um... You know what this reminds me of? The Choice Chamber pause screen? Because I just threw info and just dumped it here. Like on Choice Chamber, it's like pause, resume, quit. And on the left, it has the uh, room captain commands. Oh, it has the subscribers and the sub commands on the left. and has the room captain commands on the right, which I thought was helpful if you want to show your chat what the commands are. Uh, please press the gear. <laughs> You'll have to be more specific. I assume you mean this one. Oh, God, there's more. Buttons per row. Oh, I thought I was going to add more buttons in the uh, in the UI. Um, hide UI on test. Grid on top. Hide background. God, there's in there's like little info buttons like thrown in. <laughs> All right, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. We, we alt F4 out of there. I'm done. Um, I hope this has given you inspiration for the Sound Dodger 2 UI. Let me tell you, as ugly as the Sound Dodger 2 editor is currently, which I will not be showing you, I think it looks better than Geometry Dash. Maybe because it's it's my own thing I made. Where is my desktop? It just doesn't display anymore. I love OBS. All right, well, you know what? Let's put this one on. No, we'll do even one better. We'll show this thing. Um, so yeah, what other games? Was there, there is more. I also looked at, um, Let's look at my list here. Recent games. Geometry Dash. Ugh. Who's playing it right now? Chloe's playing. Sorry to call you out. Chloe's playing Geometry Dash. Got her in the mood. All right. Audio Surf. Muse Dash. Yeah, Muse Dash is fine. Um, not good. It's fine. Uh. Ooh. Yeah, uh, yeah. so that's about all that I played. I played a few. So like like four or five. I don't think 140 has a uh, music selection thing, right? Actually, what does 140 look like? I haven't played that. I played it once on stream. I beat it. And you guys are like, no, you haven't beaten it. Let me, let me look at this. Oh, that music. Bow. How do I make it display? Oh, there it is. Oh, is there no... Uh... Oh, this is the level select. Oh god, this is the level select. Uh... Right? Can I take this somewhere? Oh, I hear Thoth. Thoth. I'm sorry, I didn't want to touch that. Ooh. 140 has the best UI. Reminds me of uh, Ibn Ab. Wait. Come back down. Yeah, oh, I gotta bring him back. Oh. So there's no level select is really what you're getting at here. Is this like the good version of sound shapes? No. Was that called sound shapes? Is that the Vita game? Yeah, Sound Chips was kind of like this. It was like a platformer where you 
you know, jump around and everything moves to the music. This looks way more simple. I think sound shapes have a lot more coming up, uh, happening, going on. Well, I need a, a thing here. Don't disappear. Oh, that was it. I'm gonna jump for it, ready? A. All right, cool. Oh, I have to hold escape. Oh. oh, and it just quits. <laughs> it just quits all the way. I have a lot of friends who play 140. I have 32 friends have played previously. Hmm. Uh, Res Infinite has a great um, soundtrack. <laughs> what was the uh, level select for for the? Res is still one of my favorite games of all time. Bar none. I'm glad it doesn't display. Unrelated, but how are you finding Disc Room Beam? It is great. I loved the demo. Uh, I'm a fan of that team's work. A little bit of lamb beer, a little bit of... Uh, what are they called? Uh, guys who did Action Hank and Descenders. Rage Squid. Oh, this intro. Oh, we're not even gonna we're not even gonna skip this intro. We're gonna let it go. Look at how this becomes the white line in the UI. Oh wait, they changed it. Okay, well it used to do it on Dreamcast. <laughs> I forgot they changed it on PC. Um well then, actually, this UI is not the one I was talking <laughs> Merchandise? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Just selling merch in the game's title screen? Uh, do you by any chance have Gary's Mod? Yes, I do. I believe every single person on Steam owns Gary's Mod. So here's Rez. Oh wait, what is this? They totally changed it. This is not what the game used to look like. You used to be able to preview the music. So this just takes me into the game? Oh. All right, PC port. Oh, that's so good. Yo, you can play with a mouse? I should play with a tablet. You can play this in VR. I actually need to play this in VR. Uh, get out of here. Yeah. Take it easy, Notisa. Have a good one. Well, that wasn't very interesting. All right. What's the merch? Oh, they've got Fear is the Mind Killer t-shirt. Nice, that's the uh, final game, uh, final level of the game. What other music game? I wish you guys could see my desktop so you could see what I'm actually looking at. I guess I could do this. I could turn on... Does this work? Oh, it doesn't. Wait, why doesn't it display this? Is it because it's like Internet Explorer? Well, it's like not even showing you. Great. It's good. I'm glad it doesn't show you what I'm browsing. Um, I guess we'll just turn that off. Uh, the first audio surf is terrible. The uh, music selection, I should say. Beat Saber? I forget what Beat Saber kind of did. I can't check right now. I don't think you can play it without VR. Unless you do monitor sharing. I am doing monitor sharing. I'm displaying my entire monitor. That's the thing. It sometimes just doesn't do it. Can't think of any stand... Alright, so it's, it's really up to me to come up with a good level select screen. Because no one has felt the need to do that yet. That's that's what I'm that's what I'm learning here. Uh what else is there? That one doesn't. It needs to be something with like community le levels though. Like the main game you can always make it look good. But it's like the community stuff. It's like, oh man, it's just a jumble of stuff. So many Half-Life games. I'm scrolling through. Uh if anybody's wondering, I did get the Ikaruga vinyl yesterday. It should be arriving in like a month or two, because it needs to be shipped from UK, but it is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. 
I love bit trips level selects with the idea of using the gameplay mechanic to select one. Uh, yes, that was cool. Yeah, they had a very clear vision with bit trip. I got to work on bit trip. If anybody doesn't know, I worked on the uh, the iPhone version of bit trip beat that Namco published back when I worked at Namco. Uh, N plus plus. What does theirs look like? I don't even know if I'm in the credits, like by name. It'll probably just say Namco, and that's it. Just a blanket thing. Um, what did I do for Bit Trip Beat? Uh, the two most visible things I did were uh, the camera movement in level two, where it goes through the cave, like the 3D cave that you move through, and all of the Japanese characters when you turn the language to Japanese. I had to do font cleanup for like 300 uh, kanji and hiragana characters. I don't think I did katakana. Uh, but I had to clean up 300 font characters <laughs> uh, because the, uh, the bit trip font is a four by four pixel grid, which means you have 16 total pixels to represent every character in Japanese, which is impossible because some uh, characters in Japanese have 16 strokes. So how do you, you know, discern the difference between them? You know? So I had to do that piece by piece. I went to the Unicode website and had to do them by hand. So I just did some subdivision on the ones that were not good enough. Some of them looked okay, but not all of them. Dang, is Overland out? Or is it still early access? Uh, the interesting thing is I had to get those fonts approved by one of our only Japanese speakers uh, at the company because we're in California. And uh, I felt so bad for him because first off, his job should not, he's a senior engineer programmer, he should not be approving this first year employee's uh, font cleanup just because he can read Japanese, but he had to do it. So he would send me back red lines and I would fix them. Um, but I also felt bad because he's like, he was also a game developer for Namco, and then for some reason he moved to America. Uh, maybe <clears throat> when he had a family come together, because he has like a kid who's in school at the time. But uh, he created Mr. Driller. If anybody knows Mr. Driller, the quasi-sequel to Dig Dug, that was him. So this guy who like made Mr. Driller has to look at my ugly <laughs> kanji characters and... <laughs> No idea what that is? You should look up Mr. Driller. It's still fun. Very fun game. Uh, it gets incredibly hard very fast. One of Namco's uh, better hits of the 90s. They had very few big games in the 90s. What's Rhythmy? I played that before. I think I beat it. Wait, Purchase? I'm sorry, what? Why does it, why does it say Purchase? Do I not own the game anymore? Why is it in my Steam library if I don't own it? Like, instead of, like, play button, it's, it's, did you refund it? No. It says playtime, one minute. Last played August 28th, 2019. That was not long ago. That was a week after Overpass came out? What is Rhythmy? Store page, show me this. A new arcade-style rhythm bullet hell game. Try to dodge and survive many levels while listening to F777, Boom Kitty, and more. Do you guys know this game? Oh, it does kind of look like just shapes and beats. I definitely did not play this. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Why is this in my library? That's really weird. I don't know why it's there. I'm sorry you guys can't see it. Um, okay, that's weird. I'm not a fan of that. Do you ever play that game that looks like Sound Dodger? Hyper Dot? No, I did not. I have no interest in playing a game that's clearly not inspired at all by my game that I worked very hard on. No. 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 Sound Dodger 2. Good game. I like how it's just sitting there in my library. <laughs> can't play it. There's nothing to play. Um, like, I literally have nothing uploaded to Steam, so if I hit download, it wouldn't work. I have Spelunky 1, but not 2. <clears throat> There's Thoth. 
One time I got gifted a game and the dude who gifted it committed card fraud or something and it got taken out of my library and left with a purchase button. I'm curious how I got that. Or why that's even in my thing, so. Uh, what do we got? Trials, Trials, Unreal Tournament 3. Wings of V, great game. Uh, was it, are these all the games I have? Is this, is this really it? I scrolled through those pretty quickly. All right, well, I guess I don't own anything else that's worth looking at right now. Hmm. I was going to play Disc Room. I was very excited to play it on stream, and then I found... I played it with, with, with Mono. I played the beginning, and I was like, oh, okay, there's a lot of secrets and puzzles, and I know that someone in the Twitch chat is going to just... just ruin it for me. Uh, not that, you know... You, you're trying to spoil something I don't want spoiled, but you just want to help and tell me how to beat a room. So I don't even want to... <clears throat> I don't even want to put it on the screen. Because I was like, these puzzles mean something to me. To figure them out. So we're not playing that on stream. Maybe if I beat the game, then we'll come back for the cool um, challenge modes. Like beat the game um, without trying a room more than once. Or beat the game under 15 minutes. Speed room stuff. So... Disc Room is still very new, so it's unlikely to get spoiled. Well, Ferret already said he beat it. I need someone to challenge my times. Ferret, I already beat you in a bunch of things on the leaderboard. I don't know if you've gone back and beat me, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah, you did go... I, could, I saw between the first day and the second day, you, like... You were, you were under me, and then I came back the next day, and then you were over me, so you did come back. So yeah, uh, maybe when I understand all the secrets of the game, like all the gold rooms and stuff, I'll, I'll come back for that. So I don't have my controller in here, so I can't even play anything. I'm not going to go in the other room. I'm trying to, there's no other games that have like a level browser. Yep, it's just up to me. Up to me to do that. Um, I also have some great ideas for the editor that it's going to be a lot of extra work for me but you guys are going to be very excited uh, to have those things because you've been asking for them for a long time so I'm not saying what they are obviously because you know I'm not the type of guy to make a promise without knowing I'm going to be able to keep it but uh, but yeah I really just want to make a level for 17 and something so I can show you guys like some cool stuff that I've been thinking about just as a, like a proof of concept level not like a final level but like the editor is just not even ready for that like I you can't copy and paste and it's just like you're manually doing stuff I'm like ugh, I'm good we gotta add some features gotta add some features so um this was a different kind of stream <laughs> this is a different kind of stream but uh Glad I got to show you guys some uh, some new music. And I think that's all I showed you. Dropped some very vague hints about other things like level select and the uh, editor. I was like, well, what else did I just talk about? Um, what else is going on? That's about it. I'm going to keep working on Sound Dodger. I'm hoping to show you guys or at least tell you about something new every week. I don't know if it'll be good but uh we'll see what happens if anything watching you roast the jump dash ux is worth it yeah it's just not good i had thought about sound hunter 2's ui being based off of bullets oh i'm gonna stop you right there <laughs> sound hunter plus's menu looks like a level uh yeah I mean, it's using the same assets, literally. Like, the circle that grows is the same circle that's the arena for gameplay. So, yeah, it should look just like a level. Uh, thanks for the subs, resubs, gift subs. You guys are pretty cool supporting the stream. Uh, I'm going to put this music that definitely won't get me... Next track. That definitely won't get me uh, banned. I gotta, like, be careful what music I play now, so, like... All that streaming stuff we were going to do is Sound Dodger 2? You gotta be careful now. That's right. Uh, I'm going to get going. 
Didn't even play Sound Dodger. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe we'll have something for you next week. Have a good week, everyone. Class dismissed. Hey, I could say that. I don't have a sign-off. I've been saying that for the last seven years of streaming. I don't know what to say at the end. Class dismissed. As I put on sunglasses. We would like to rumble in the jungle. Ha! Um, you're welcome, everybody. Thank you. Glad you enjoyed. It makes me feel good when I see you guys thank me. If you know. Okay. Real talk. Sometimes I stream and no one thanks me, and then I just hit stop streaming. And I just kind of sit there. And I was like, why did I even stream today? No one even enjoyed it. Anyway, thanks for thanking me, everyone. I'm gonna, uh... I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna work on more Sound Hunter stuff tonight with the energy I somehow still have. I'll see you guys next week. Have a good one. You're welcome for thanking... You for thanking me. Thanks, Karma. Princess is like, thank you for listening to the beats. We best to rumble in the jungle. What the ha? Ha! I love that ha right there. <laughs> Oop, that's the end. Now let's do one more song. One more song. This is such a great album. I'm gonna link this album because I love it. Go support technology. Also, I love the spelling of his name. It's pronounced technology. Oh, you know what? I need to get Curse of the Moon 2. That'd be a fun stream game. The first one was so good. I assume the second one is also good. Class dismissed.